Gangsta Bitch Music 2. What's up, Cardi? Hey. How are you, honey? Good. Listen, I've seen you a couple times. I told you, you know, I've been telling everybody, whenever your name comes up, how you've always been nice. You never carry yourself like you're Hollywood. Or you're too good to have a conversation. And you are, like, what people see is really who you are. Like, it's not, you don't try to be something different. Um, well, you know, I'm not completely what everybody think and see that I am. Just because, like, for example, right, like, let's say if I go to a restaurant yeah. or I'm in a store and it's like, oh, my gosh, you so, you so turned down. Like, and it's like, well, you think I'm going to be like, what's good? Let me get the steak. Like, what's good? I want yeah. the steak. Well done. Like, you know what I'm saying? So not everything is like thing, but most likely it's just a little shine, shine. You, I've never heard one person say that you're not nice. And I think that's important in our industry, right? Because mm -hmm. it's so easy to, I mean, you're famous, you're getting money, you're doing your thing out here. It's easy for you to not come in to do an interview, right? You don't have to care, but you still do. You still come through, you show love. I mm -hmm. mean, you come and say hi to Kaylani, show her love as a woman, which I think is... She's so cute. Not, isn't she? She's really cute. Yeah. I think that's something that we love about Kaylani, but that's something we love about you too, is that you're very vulnerable, right? You... Uh, you say how you feel, you wear your heart on your sleeve, which is, I don't think people understand how hard that is to not put this mask in front like you don't feel pain. But, you know, you do look at your comments, you respond to people, and I think it's natural. What advice do you give young girls when they're going through a hard time and somebody might be talking trash to them? What do you say for them? Well, one thing that, that makes me um, happy, like when I feel like a little down, like it's just like... Um, like, I feel like, oh, I'm just upset. Not even penis is making me happy because I'm just <laughs> upset. Like, sometimes not even dick can make you happy because that's how upset you are. Yes. Like, the only thing that makes me happy is, like, um, proving them wrong. Yeah. Like, proving them wrong. Like, uh, you will never be nothing. And it's like, well, today I'm in Hot 97. Ha-ha! Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm doing... Yes. Uh, yeah, like, it's like, I'm on TV. Ha-ha! Like, it's like, my music. Ha-ha! Like, it's like... Every single time that I do something big, it just it, it empowers me. Like, you know, I be telling girls and everything, like, when a guy breaks up with you, the only thing that's going to make you happy is not sleeping with another guy, mm. not dick, mm. none of that. Like, mm. or, or dating real fast. Like, working makes you happy. Like, working really makes you happy. Like, seeing the money makes you happy. Like, oh, look at this. Like, yeah. oh, shh. Did you think you would make it this far in life? Like, I mean, be, even before dancing. Like, did you look at yourself and be like, all right, you know what? I, things are just going to work out for me. It's going to be amazing. Everything is going to be popping. Or because I feel like sometimes for you, you still take it all in. Like, wow, look mm -hmm. at me. I, I'm on TV. I'm on the radio. Um, like, you know, uh, since high school, like, I, I always been, like, a very realistic person. Like, I always, I always been, like, a plan B person. Like, all right, in high school, I used to perform a lot, right? Yeah. I used to perform. I used to do talent shows and everything. I went to a, a musical theater school. Okay. Yeah. But as I get older, like, I, I realize, like, damn, it, it, it's hard. Like, it's hard. Like, it's like, all right, I want to be an artist, but I don't have $200 to go to a, a studio. And even if I did have it, like, it's like, how, who's going to help me? Like, no, I don't have nobody to help me. So, um, you know, my plan from school was just like, oh, go to college. I wanted to be a history teacher. And I went to college and um, things wasn't working out. I needed a job. And I, I had a job. I got fired. I became a dancer. And um, I got my breast done. And after I got my breast done, like, I was like, oh, I want to shit on my ex-boyfriend. Look, <laughs> look at these girls in the magazine. I used to see, like, the urban magazines yeah. on the train. Like, yeah, I want to be, like, one of these girls. I know they're getting mad money for it. Yeah. And then I started, like, auditioning for uh, music videos, um, taking mad pictures. And it's like, that wasn't working for me. It yeah. was not working for me. It wasn't going nowhere. I was taking pictures with my bikinis, and I couldn't even get, like, a 1,000 followers for it. Like, I felt like maybe I'm just not meant for this, and I totally gave up on it. Like, my, when I was 20, I told myself, like, I don't want to be 30 years old stripping 
but this is going to be my plan. I'm going to make at least 100000 by the age I'm 25. And when I'm 25, I'm going to buy a house, a, a, like a three-family house. Yeah. I'm going to rent it out. And from there, I just keep buying more, buying more, yeah. investing on more. And it's like, look, it's just, my goal was to finish dancing when I was 25. Yeah. And um, even though, like, 25 is young. Yeah. But um, I just notice how guys treat you like, like, um, they ex- their excuses was just, like, ridiculous. Like, every guy I date, oh, you're beautiful, you smart, you're a good girlfriend. I know you're not a cheater, but, like, you're a dancer. And I was just so annoyed with the same response, like, same response. Like, it's like... Oh, oh, it's just like, yeah, you're making money, but we, we you gotta we we don't see the money. Like guys really trying to see the what you do with the money. You know, something about dudes is that they want you to be independent, they want you to make money and all these things, but then it's like you look at your situation, it's like, okay, I'm getting money and stuff, but then it's still not good enough because it's not the way that they wanted you to make money. Yes. But they also fell in love with you mm-hmm. knowing that you were dancing, but yes. because their pride and ego gets in the way, it's a problem. Yeah. <sighs> it seemed like it was always a problem, like, and I, f- and I was not going to stop, yeah. even if some guys offer. I guess this is what you call saving a girl. Like some guys have offered me to stop dancing, that they would take care of me, and I said no. Like I'm gonna still do it, and I want my own money because when you decide to kick me out mm. and don't give me the allowance anymore, I have nothing. I have nothing for me. I have nowhere to go. Like. I wasn't going to stop. And you know what I also loved? I was such a fan and watch you on Instagram. I love that. I, I think someone was talking about your mom and how she raised you and your sister or whatnot. And you're like, listen, my mom actually raised me right. It was your decision that you wanted to dance and that basically people asking you to like, be a role model, right? And you're kind of like, hey, you know, your kids should want to be like you. You know, Mm -hmm. and I thought that was so important because you had a game plan. And I think a lot of people knock the whole stripping and and everything, the lifestyle. But you really knew, all right, I'm going to do it for this amount of time. I'm going to make what I can get out of it. And that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, Even even before the fame, like, that was just my ultimate goal. And... And it was even my mom, like, all right, she found out I was dancing. She clearly, she can't... She can uh, not stop me because nobody could... I cannot stop not yeah. making money. Like, how did she react? She was pissed. <laughs> but um, I think that she would she wouldn't be as pissed if I would have sit her down and right. I was to be like, listen, I'm struggling and I really wanted to move out of my ex boyfriend's house and I didn't want to come back to you because I was embarrassed to tell you that yeah. you're right. Oh. Because I want to tell my mom, yeah. you're right. <laughs> I don't want to live with a man anymore. Yeah. You're so right. I didn't want her to do that. So I, I had to, I started stripping. And as much as you think it was, was bad, it wasn't all that bad. Like, a lot of a lot of people want me to tell these girls, like, yeah, stripping is bad. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not going to automatically right. say that because it, it it saved me. Like, it got, it got me my first apartment. It got me my first uh, fifty thousand dollars saved up that I saved by myself. Yes, like, that's how I did it. Dancing, shaking my ass, and I seen friends sometimes. They'd be like, "I don't know what to do. I'm broke," and I was like, "Well, come to the strip club with me and feed their kid and pay their rent and pay their light." Like it's just like it's a hustle, and I I hate the fact that women stay getting bashed over it, but um, they glorify men so bad for selling drugs. Double standard all it's the time. Double standards all the time. When I read the comments, sometimes I. It just, they don't want you to talk about things happening in our country, but there's real things happening, occurring, and Donald Trump being here, and, you know, you've been vocal about, you know, unarmed black men getting shot by police, and I feel like, again, what are you supposed to do, not have an opinion on anything? One thing for sure is I'm very informed, and the reason why Mm. I be trying to keep people informed is because I know that some of my followers, a lot of people on social media, they don't tune in to CNN. Yeah. Don't tune into the news. 
but I know you're tuning in on me. Yep. I know you're watching me. So it's just like if I can inform you, but I, I can inform you, like, in an entertaining way, then I will. Like, people expect me to, when I say something that's going on with our country, to say it, like, in a very, like, smart, intellectual way. But it's just like... Sometimes people just don't want to hear that. Or sometimes people don't understand that. Yeah. Like, I know for a fact, like, let's say a, a, a girl from, a girl that didn't finish high school, somebody that didn't finish high school, didn't really went to school. I feel like um, they're not really going to understand what Michelle Obama is saying. Right. Because she has a very high vocabulary. Right. But I understand, but I know that they could understand me. Right. So if I put what Michelle Obama yep. or somebody, <laughs> uh, somebody that's really political, if I say something and I put it in my words, right. I know they're going to understand it and I know they're going to feel it. Isn't that what we're supposed yeah. to do? Like you said, you're talking to the people and they like it. And, and the thing is, what was going on, like, you know, what's going on in our country, what's going on in other countries, I'm really passionate about. Like, I'm very passionate yeah. about it. It's something that... I, I'm like I'm a nerd for that. Yeah. Like seriously. And I hate that like when I I talk about it, like people will say something like, Oh, you're just doing it for attention. No, like cause I care. Like the same way I care about having a fucked up weave and everything else that I talk about, I really care yes. about what's going on. I don't gotta do it for attention. Cause if I want attention, I could do a video with my with my panties on twerking yeah. or like a video with just Almost all my cleavage out. It's yeah. just like I really care. Yeah, I I love that. And I, again, it's you wear your heart on your sleeve, right? Which is something that we all love. And I and I also love the fact that you put your sister on too. And I thought it was even crazier that people were mad. Yeah, like why? Wh what? Because people. Th okay, I, I I was listen. I wanted to put my sister on, and my sister always been very private. Yeah. Or not even that she was just private. Like when I started doing videos, yeah, people gotta remember that. She was in high school. She, she just turned 21. She's very young. Right. Was in a relationship. She didn't want to really be out there. But it's just like, I I know if people love me, they're going to love my sister. Because she's just like, actually, Yo. she's she's actually way more crazier than me. <laughs> and it got me so upset that people was like, oh, you trying so hard to be like Cardi. You need to be yourself. And it's like. She is like me. We came out the same pussy, yeah. <laughs> was made from the same dick. Yeah. Like, we was raised with the same, in the same household. Like, yeah. she's more like, she's more like a daughter to me yeah. than my sister. Like, how you think my kids is going to act like me? Yeah. <laughs> That's how she gonna act. Like she gonna act like me. Yeah, I love that though. And it's like fuck yeah, yeah, so ungrateful. <laughs> I'm taking her back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't deserve her. Yes, you know it's so funny. I could sit here talk to you all day and, and not get to the questions that fans want to know, like love and hip hop and stuff like that. Just because you have such a great personality. Uh, People are upset that you might not be going back to love and hip hop. Have you decided on that situation or is it just? No, I decided I'm not going back. But it's not because like no issues. Or no issues. Yeah. Like it's no issues. It's just like I just got to move on up to the east side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What if they said, hey, we're going to give you a lot, lot, lot money. Is that a reconsideration or is it just the growing that you've grown out of it? It's, it's just like I need to grow. Mm -hmm. Like some, you know, I always used to be about much money. Like yeah. money, 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 money. Yeah. Like um, even now, like I have a lot of a lot of TV deals, right, that I could take and start doing tomorrow. But I, I'm just putting a hold on it because I'm really focusing on this music. Right. Like I know whatever I'm going to do on TV, I'm going to have it down pack because I'm very creative. I think yes. about things over and over and over again. I sleep on it. So whatever I will do is going to be real good. And I feel like I got that down pack. But my music, I want it, I want it to be respected because I feel like I should be respected because I, I, I know I'm not putting out garbage. Yeah. I know I'm not putting out garbage, and I take my time, and I spend my money on it. Mm. So it's like, all right. Yeah, yeah, I'm Cardi, but y'all gonna respect my my music too. Y'all gonna respect my gangster. You know what? <laughs> and it's true. Let me tell you because I think a lot of people saw you on TV, right? Love and hip hop, and not realizing your music. And then there was a lot of anticipation for gangster bitch music. And then 
it came out and I think people are like, oh, okay. Okay, so she really does rap. Yeah. Like you really do do this, right? So I think at this point, you know, it's funny because Queen Kong over here, who's one of my best friends, is obsessed with you and we hear pull up every fucking day of our life because <laughs> that's just what it is at our house. But it's, it, it, I think it's very interesting that people who might have not given you a chance are starting to give you a chance when it comes to your music. Yes. That's got to feel nice. Have you had any surprise fans? Anybody that you were like, oh, I didn't even know you liked my music. They, they've they seen you, ran into you, or sent you a message. They're like, I like your music. Um, A lot of artists have. I don't want to mention the oh, okay. name, you know what I'm saying? Because it's yeah. just like, I don't want to be like, yeah. yeah. You listen to my music. <laughs> like, you know, like, they know who they are. Yeah. And it's like, thank you. Like, it... It makes me want to continue. Like, it makes me want to be like, aha. Because there's the people that don't give want to give me a chance. There's yes. a lot of men. There's yes. a lot of men that don't want to give me yes. a chance. Yes. And they, they, they've done, like, most of the time when people um, on social media be like, oh, I don't want to hear that shit. That shit is trash. And I be writing, have you heard it? And guys be like, no. And it's like, so how would you know? Because they just don't want to give me a chance. Because you're a and woman, yeah. And it's cool. Yep. Yeah cool yeah because i am a, a, a female like i'm a yeah. female and i'm very i'm an outspoken one too mm. like men don't really like outspoken ones weak men don't weak men so remember that next yeah, time yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's weak my men, bad weak men weak men don't <laughs> like a strong woman like and that's what i i think is so again i i just to, to see the growth that you have i know a lot of people thought the situation with you and swift wasn't true so are you guys together not together we're not together. Not together. No. Okay. Are you in a relationship? Um, uh, I talked to somebody. I okay. talked to. I talked to somebody. I'm. I'm finally. Um. Don't like change single. on us, Cardi. <laughs> oh, oh no 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 okay okay everybody. I'm finally single, and um, I'm starting all over again. I'm not gonna say that I'm with somebody, but I'm definitely dating. So, yeah, I'm yeah. dating. Yeah, I'm dating. Yeah, it was good. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, like, what, what do you want a, you know, an ideal man for you? Do you want him to be funny? Or do you want a guy who's in the industry, or would you rather him not? What What are some of the requirements so that, you know, the fellas who are watching, if they think they have a chance, what they need <laughs> to have? Well, first thing first, I need somebody. That has a personality. Like sometimes these guys, they be having a big dick, but it's just like, <laughs> I can't fuck with you no more. And it's just like they don't yeah. understand. And it's like, cause you're boring. Like I can't conversate with you. Like yeah. I can't conversate with you. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people be telling me like, oh, you should date somebody in the industry. But it's like, am I ready for that? Like it's like I know it's hard for somebody to date me because I'm always busy. Yeah. And I cannot give them my 100% time. So it's like, how can two people that is extremely doing the same thing is going to work out, you yeah. know? I, it might. It might. I mean, I'm not saying it won't. But. But it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. And. Do you want him to be taller than you? Do, would you date a guy who's shorter than you? Most likely not. <laughs> <laughs> that was so nicely. It's, I mean, but if you're, I, if so you're shorter, sweet. if you're shorter than me, if you're shorter than five three, because I'm five three, like come on now, son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. Does he have to make more money than you? No. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like this. Is it okay if he has kids? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer not. I, yeah. I really prefer not. Well, I mean, you've experienced and you've I ex grown. no. I, I hate baby moms. Yeah. I hate them. <laughs> Yeah. It's static -y gang over here yeah. all day. Oh, I hate them bitches. Yeah. Wait, so wait, is that really your backup page? It was on the internet that they were saying that you had a backup page and you were talking to your ex's baby mom. And I didn't know if it was true. So I asked Queen Kong because he's like literally your PR person in our house. <laughs> he was like, I don't know, but it could, but I don't know. But I have her back. And I was like, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Kong just like. I need to, I, we need to go out of lust. Yes. I need to take it to Starlet. Yeah. <laughs> but is that, was that your backup page? Um, Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes, it was. I mean, you didn't say anything bad. I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, this is the thing, right? Um, Me and, and homeboy, yeah. we broke up. And I broke up with him because, you know, he's not sure if that's his kid or not. But I, I know it is. And I told him, I know how short he is. And she's very scandalous. Mm -hmm. 
very scandalous. And I don't want to deal with that, especially because I'm going to keep on getting bigger and bigger. And I, and um, and also our attitudes are so much alike, me and him, that it was just never going to work out. Like the love is leaving. Yeah. And I continue to talk to him, even though we're not together, because I still love him as a friend and I yeah. still enjoy talking to him. But I didn't think that he was going to be so spiteful because he called me that morning mm. and he said that he's going to see the kid. This is the second time seeing him, the baby. And I said, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. Like, it's like, I can't do anything about that. Like, and um, I she posted the picture. And yes, I was lurking. Like, I was lurking. Like, same way, bitch, look at my shit. I look at you. Like, yeah. I look at, of course, I, I, of course, I'm a stalker. I yeah. definitely do that. So, you too. Most all women oh, do. Oh, we all do that shit. Yes. So, it's just like, but I like the picture and Shorty started wilding. And it was funny to me, like, why you're mad? Like, it should be flattering, I think, if anything. Yeah. I guess so. I just, one thing that I don't like is that I saw that she's trying to blame me for the fact that, you know, homeboy wasn't there for the baby. It's not my fault that he didn't want to be a father to your kid because he don't know yeah. if that's your father to your kid. And then if you think it's my fault that he's not a father to your kid, you should be ashamed for posting that nigga up because he put a bitch before your son, neckhead. <laughs> Yo, Cardi, you go straight for the neck. Nah, seriously, but yeah. it's like, I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. I'm yeah. just going to talk about this one time so I could dead that. that. Yeah. I could dead that. Like, at the end of the day, I am dating somebody. Yes. Yeah, you've moved on. I moved on. I, I promise you I moved on. If I, if, if I speak to him, it wasn't because it's like I couldn't let go. It's because it's a friendship. Right. And I do care. Now, what about your, let's say your new man, right? Let's move on to the new man. And he's like, look, I don't want you talking to none of your exes. I'm not going to jeopardize my new relationship for something that I know it would never work. I know it would never work. Like, sometimes it's true. Like, you could love somebody, but if you, you know that it's never going to work and you just have to really let it go. You have to, yep. And I just let it go. I sniffed that shit right in the ass. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I you're very honest, which mm -hmm. is, you know, a big reason why we love you. Mm -hmm. So we had some... Some people want some advice from you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is called Take a Shot with Cardi B. All right, so here's some questions for you. If you found out that your girl was cheating, this is a guy who's asking you, should he break up with her or should he give her a second chance? Well, hopefully some, hopefully I get a second chance if I ever <laughs> cheat. Um, you know what? It, it really depends or maybe... If a female is cheating on you, that means that she's just completely tired or bored. Really? Yes. Okay, or maybe so or maybe you're treating her too nice. <sighs> Damn. Cardi. No. You know what's so crazy? Girls want a guy that treat them real good. Yeah. I think sometimes they don't. I think that it don't really excite them anymore. I'm not saying to go treat your girl like a dog. Okay. <laughs> You know right. what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Just always have her, like, in yeah, mystery, just, like, mystery. in a limbo. So do you think that works the other way around? Like, do guys like it when a girl mistreats them? I definitely, I know that for a fact. As a matter of fact, and I know that guys love when they get their ass beat. I think they really like that shit. <laughs> I know, niggas love shows. Yeah. They do. Yeah. Because the one guy that I never did a show to, because I was like, you know what? I don't think things work out and got violent with my last relationship because I started with the shits. Yeah. I'm going to be nice. And nigga just dogged me out. And then I became, I, I just, myself again. Yeah. My, and guys love that shit. Yeah. Oh, man, they love when I put them on Do Not Disturb. Yeah. Yo. Girl, they love it. Yeah. They love when I, oh, you, oh, you took an hour? To, get to back? text me back, yeah, that's twenty four hours now. <laughs> I won't text you right back in twenty four hours. Two hours, it's forty eight. <laughs> they love that shit. I love that. This is such great advice. Now, should a young lady get work done to her body if her man keeps pressing her about it, or should she say no? Um, 
if your man press you about yes. it, but if you're happy with your body, if you like, I don't want to get my body done because I love it, then right. don't. But if he press you and you yourself is not happy as well, like if right. you complain around him like, babe, are you sure that my dress is not that fat? Right. Are you sure that I don't look too skinny in my dress? Then just do it. But if since he is pressing you, make sure he pays for it. Yeah. <laughs> get that money. Yeah. Yeah, especially if he's pressing you. Like... Are you pressing me? Then sure, fucking pay for my shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this guy that this girl is dating is broke, but he is loyal and the sex is great. Should she continue dating him? Yes. Hmm. Yes. Because I totally have done it that before. But, um, you know, it's a difference between being broke but trying and being broke and lazy. Like, let's just say if, like, he's broke, but he's all day watching TV and right. eating chips and smoking and not even trying. Or it's like, I'm trying to get a job, but it's hard. Then it's just like, let it go. But yeah. you also got to put, like, a, a time limit on it. Like, it's like, you don't exactly. want to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't want to be taking care of him forever. Like, forever. It's like, like it's 10 like, years in and he still doesn't want to get a job. It's not yeah. going to work. Okay, so how about this? This girl said she was offended that her man asked her to eat his booty. Should she? Grocery eating. Are you okay with this? I'm okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm think- with the shits. <laughs> I mean, do you Well, like- not literally the shits. <laughs> you know? Yes. <sighs> so it's okay. So you're not judging this girl if she does it. I'm not judging it. I will judge it. Depending on how the guy wants to get eaten. Yeah. Like, like for example, like let's say if I'm sucking your dick. Yeah. And then I'm licking your balls. Yeah. And then I go lower and lower. Yeah. And I'm there. Then I'm there. Right. But I would feel mad weird if a guy be like, oh, well, I want you to eat my ass. And it's like, oh, okay. And then he get on fours. And <laughs> it's like, um, give me a second. Yeah. <laughs> it would be like kind of strange. Yes. That is weird. It's like, yeah. eh, this is a little weird. Okay. So, um, this, yeah, this lady <laughs> wants to use toys, but she's too nervous to ask her significant other. Do you think she should just tell him? Or do you think it's just a bad sign in the relationship? It's kind of like a bad sign. Well, it like like for example, if the guy's dick is big and it's like, babe, I just want to get freaky. I want you to fucking, I wanna, I want you, I wanna, I wanna suck your dick while you f- stick a dildo inside my pussy. Like it's alright, but like let's say if a guy is small and it's like, can can you just use this on me? <laughs> right. It's just like, what? You're right, right. It's kind of like, yeah. I have a dick right here, shorty. Like my dick is right here. Yeah. Why you need another one? <laughs> God, it's such a great, but it's so empowering though. For so many women, don't know how to go about these situations, yeah. right? Like they don't know how to cut things off. Someone said, "Is it wrong to end a relationship through text, or should you have an in-person conversation?" Um, as long as you end it and give an explanation, like as long as you end it and give it an explanation. But, Cause it's just like an explanation. That's the best way to put it out. Cause if you don't text at all yeah. or not call at all, then that's when it's really sad. Yeah. Like it's like, <laughs> yes. I don't even know where you were going with me. Yeah. Where is he? Why is he getting yeah, back to where me? Where is he? Yeah, you, 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 you know, know what I'm saying? Like, what's he doing? Why he does he just disappeared out of nowhere? Exactly. Oh, that hurts. Do you have any advice for Melania Trump, first lady? Don't try to speak English. Don't try to do your speech in English. Right. Let it be genuine. Yeah. Let it be from the whatever country you you <laughs> are and whatever you speak. Speak that. And yeah. have somebody translate it, but let it be so genuinely. Let it be from the heart. Because you trying, it's just like you look like a dickhead. Yeah. Like you're not even making any sense. It don't sound real. Like you see when Michelle Obama talk. She speaks from, from heart. the heart. Like right. she speaks from the heart. She looks at you. Like she look at you. You're like, um, okay. Like it's like it's not genuine. Like I don't feel what you're saying. Like I don't care how good it's written. I know that you didn't wrote it. Yeah. Yeah. It's obvious. So 
I mean, I don't even want to give none of them motherfuckers advice. Like, fuck them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying?